Crews at Japan's damaged nuclear plant get started on a crucial job later in the day. They'll be working to stop some radioactive wastewater from flowing into the Pacific Ocean by freezing the mouths of underground tunnels. Managers of Fukushima Daiichi pour tons of water daily into the facility's crippled reactors to cool nuclear fuel. Some of the water mixes with radioactive substances and leaks from containment vessels. It accumulates in the reactor buildings, adjacent turbine buildings and the tunnels. Engineers with operator Tokyo Electric Power Company believe the water seeps from the tunnels into the ground and reaches the sea. They've mapped out a plan to create frozen walls underground at reactors number two and three. Crews will start by digging vertical holes where the tunnels meet the turbine buildings. They'll install pipes into the holes and inject liquid coolant to create frozen walls to block the flow of water. But cables and other objects in the tunnel could hamper the work. Engineers can't enter the areas because the water is so highly contaminated. So they'll rely on images sent from remote-controlled cameras. Managers hope to finish installing the pipes by late March. Then, once the frozen walls are complete, they plan to start removing 11,000 tons of tainted water in May.